everybody, this is Tony Sandoval, Big Bear, Be Smart Beekeeping Project. Welcome to my workshop. Hey, um, today, little quick video because you've been, if you've been visiting the websites and the social media, the Facebook and on MeWe and a lot of these other ones, Google Plus, you see that I've been talking a lot about our new teaching apiary, a uh, place to provide a few different things. We're doing live bee rescue so we're taking honeybees and bumblebees that are in places that people don't really want them the sides of houses and their, their roofs ceilings walls I mean unfortunate places in their yards where they get stepped on accidentally we take them from those places because they don't want to exterminate the bees they don't want the bees there but they don't want to kill them so what we do is we go get them we rescue the bees we relocate them we got a new place to take them to it's a great place at Scattered Joy Acres up here in Florence. They do already do an animal rescue pro program there. You go get animals from farms and in different places. Uh, people that can't take care of them no more. Uh, just a variety of places they, they, they rescue animals from. And they bring them to Scattered Joy Acres and people, they get volunteers. You get a lot of people who really get a lot of benefit, a lot of therapy and support from taking care of the animals. It gives them some purpose and, and, and they, they build whole programs and projects around it. Everybody wins. It's just a wonderful place. Joy Bartling runs this place. Her, her and her group of volunteers are just awesome, fantastic people and I can't say enough positive about this place. It's awesome. To add to that, she's wholeheartedly wide welcome arms you said let, let, let's bring bees here too uh, let's add bees to the rescue mix and so we are we're gonna this is gonna be the new home now technically the apiary itself the bee yard the hives the bees when they get there they technically belong to uh, scattered joy acres they'll be able to use the honey and the beeswax and, and different things like that as fundraisers and as we were going to run educational opportunities, little program kind of things, people come by and they can get explanations and we can walk them through some processes. They can watch us as we work. I got a special plan for that. So people could go and learn and see and they benefit. I mean, it just again, we're trying to make it everybody win-win out there. But aside from a place to take the bees that we rescue, I run here with the Be Smart Beekeeping Project, we, we have the podcast, and we record the podcast when we meet there. We also have the Bee Hooligans, that's people on the podcast, my little bunch of rascals who we, we go about beekeeping in our own way. We try to, we, we will make it a personalized, unique experience for each one of us, and that brings a lot of interesting things together. So we call them, I call them the, my Bee Hooligans, and uh, we have a lot of fun. And these are people that want to not just read a book about beekeeping or watch a video. They want to get hands-on practice. They want to learn and have get the chance to do things. Um, learning by doing is very important to me. I think that especially in beekeeping, you got to have, you got to get a feel for certain things. You just can't some things you can't communicate in a book or in a video uh, properly. So um, what I'm saying saying is. In order to make all this happen, we need a little bit of help from you. What I would like for you to do is I would like any little thing. If you're around the Omaha metro area, we need a fence. You know, what I'm looking for is to build kind of a corral style fence because there's deer out there. They have horses out there. They have all kinds of big animals out there. They tend to walk around and sometimes even people and we don't want them getting in and around the hives, horses and deer especially, because they, they tend to get nosy and then they get stung and then they knock over hives and it's all ugly and it's unnecessary if you put up a nice little fence. And given it's the kind of a ranch or a farm feel, I thought the little corral look of a fence, as long as it's put up sturdy, would be a nice addition to keep things safe. So if you've got 4x4, four 4x6 four, four wooden posts, you've got one by four wood rails to put around the sides, nails, screws, uh, paint, anything like that that'll help us put this fence up. We would sure really appreciate it. Uh, the donation could go straight to Scattered Joy Acres. I don't get anything, so it's, you know, it all goes to Joy and her crew out there. And uh, it, it, it's just if you can help, 
you know, that'd be wonderful. We also need materials and equipment for beehives. And, uh, you know, and again, we build the beehives actually. We build the boxes. We build the tops and the bottoms. I teach people how to make these parts. They get practice building them and cleaning them and repairing them. So if you've got, again, one by 12, you know, by 10 foot long boards, anything one by we can use. And uh, it uh, helps to, again, teach beekeepers, helps us keep, give a home to the bees that we're rescuing. It helps with all of that. So it, uh, it, 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 it just, if you've got those kind of things, and again, exterior paint, uh, wood glues, anything like that that's got to do with woodworking would just be such a big help. We, we would love the help. Uh, we really need it in order to, to accomplish our mission of bee rescue and then teaching people and showing people, you know, all the positives about this. Um, and then last but not least, shed. We, we really are trying to find, hopefully we can get somebody in the area uh, that's got a shed on their property. It's good shape. They don't want it anymore. They may be getting their, they're getting a new one. Or maybe they just, you know, moved in and they got the shed with the place. Again, good shape, sturdy. But not what they wanted we would love to be able to relocate that right by the teaching apiary the bee yard so we could store the hive boxes and store the equipment and the tools and all the stuff that we use to take care of the bees uh, and train the beekeepers and everything you know uh, and I mean you know 10 by 10 shed a couple of them you know if more than one person's got one we'd love it if you got a company out there a business that does sheds and you'd like to help out scatter joy acres with the program you know I'm sure joy would be more than thrilled to talk to you and hear from you uh, we can I, I I do what I can to help out I donate you know spare wood and my I use all my own tools to build stuff out there and I bring a lot of my own out but there's just so much it's a kind of a big project we're taking on a lot and um, it, we could use all the help we could get so I'm hoping you guys will help us to rescue bees and train beekeepers and teach people about the wide world of our pollinating bees uh, and, um, and of course you know if you don't have any of those things the website www.scatteredjoyacres.org uh, scatteredjoyacres.org uh, and that's scatter without an ed at the end that's scattered but scatter scattered joy acres www.scatteredjoyacres.org they, they're able to take donations, financial donations on their website, and it's a nonprofit. Uh, so it goes, you know, we're, we're just trying to help. We're helping bees, we're helping animals, we're helping people. So we're, we're just trying to make everybody a win, 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 win all around situation if we can. We could use your help making that happen, especially with this new bee apiary, teaching apiary project. Uh, that's my little spiel. Uh, thanks for listening to Big Bear's Workshop. Hopefully I'll get to do some more of these things. It won't be uh, such a straightforward kind of a pitch or appeal for help. And I'll show you some of the things that I do with building hives and repairing hives and stuff like that down here in Big Bear's Workshop. And what that's mine, third person stuff, I don't know. It's trying to do the video thing. What are you going to do, right? But uh, anyways... Thanks for stopping on down, and uh, thanks for watching the video. And if you help us, you're able to help us at all with uh, any of these parts and materials, by gosh, you know, we'd love to see that too. Y'all have a great day, and be smart.